welcome boys and in today's video we are going to be reacting to another andrew tate video you guys seem to like it when i react to his videos if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment sections below my email is in the description box don't forget to hit this video with a like this particular video he is talking about how to make a woman love you as a man okay so let's uh watch and i'll give my commentary as the video goes on business so what is enough so other than other than um you know not changing diapers um and you know jet setting around the world what is enough you talk about being tall muscular you can shoot guns all this stuff you talk about right yeah some people aren't tall yeah some people. what would you do if you weren't tall all right so firstly firstly let's accept something god has favorites <laughs> does he he certainly does okay and i'm one of them how about you, my dear? Look Thank at your nice, you. beautiful smile. Thank you, you gave it to me. God gave it to you, yeah. right? Okay. So God does have favorites, but it's not even about that. For the longest period of human time, for a man to be respected, for him to even be admired by society on any level, to some degree, he had to... Let's, let's, I mean, dude, the dude has swag, man. Man, the dude has swag, bro. God dang it, dude has swag. Uh, let's continue. Be a warrior. That's what men did, we fall. Right. That's what men did, we fall. So if you're out here as a man and you have no battle in your life, no conquest in your life, no form of war in your life, then what you do? And it doesn't have to be physical. Physical is the best example of it. Every woman wants a long skirt. Of course you do. Like, well, you know, why do? Yes, because it means that, like, if, you know, for me, everything is evolution, right? Completely. So it means that if, you know, one day the government's coming, which yeah. they're coming, yeah. um, you know, you want to know that he can physically protect you and the family, yeah. right? Exactly. So every woman wants a boxer or a cage fighter, but this is the testament to the problem of the modern world, right? right? Every single man watching this knows that women want fighters. Every single man watching this would love to be able to say he's a fighter, but 99% of the men watching this will not go fight because they are afraid. I will say this. He has a point there. Guys, I never say this on this channel, but I'm actually a black belt in Taekwondo, right? So this is very important as a young kid i learned how to fight why because when i was in when i was in high school i used to get bullied i used to get bullied and i used to tell my dad hey dad this you know uh they used to bully me in school and you know what my dad did instead of going to school right he said you have to fix your problem and i will help you fix it he put me into taekwondo classes I studied Taekwondo for three to four years, right? After that, literally, literally no one would mess with me because I knew how to defend myself. And I'm not saying this as a way of bragging, but I'll say, guys, if you are a man, right? If you are a man, you have to learn some sort of fighting skill, whether it's martial arts, boxing, any type of self-defense, guys as men we are going to have to defend ourselves at some point whether it's at the club whether it's walking down the street at night with your girl look the best when somebody is, is, is trying to attack you obviously you want to just you know avoid any physical confrontation but if your life is in danger you need to know how to defend you and your family sure you can get a gun but at the end of the day, when it comes down to fisticuffs, right? If it comes, if it came down to fisticuffs, can you protect yourself and your loved ones? This point that he makes very important for every man. They're all cowards. Don't make up every excuse under the sun. Oh, it's busy with my Bitcoin. Oh, do, do, do. You're all a bunch of pussies. They are pussies, all of them. That's all they are, they're pussies. And, and women can smell that. So if you want if, if you want to have a woman who truly respects you, you need to put yourself through war and something. Now what most men do is they avoid physical confrontation because they're cowards and they start doing physical confrontation. This is why men are so obsessed with money, because it's a degree of conquest. We can no longer walk the earth and conquer land, right? It's not like we the olden days where we could just walk around as the Romans, just chop somebody up and take their land. So now we conquer the land financially. This is why men will work so hard to be a CEO and give up his whole life just to be a CEO because then he gets to feel like he's conquering something. Men have that innate desire for conquest. So that's the second best thing, I guess, is to get rich. I mean, it's not a bad thing to be rich, certainly not. But if someone were to say to me, look, you have to build the archetype of an individual. You have to build a man from the ground up and he has to be respected by both men and women. He'd be a dude getting in the cage, kicking the shit out of people. 
And every man knows this, and every man can do it. But they're all just pussies. You know, there was there is something that he's he's he said that I like, right? Imagine you could build a character. Imagine you're playing a video game and you could build a, the perfect character, right? What would that character, what kind of attributes would that character possess? And when you're talking about that character, we're talking about you as a person. How would you want your body to look like? What are the things that you would like your character to know? Do you want him to know how to shoot guns? Do you want him to know how to fight? What style of fighting would you like him to know? Would you like him to have a very good style? Would you like him to have money? You know, this is this is thing. I see guys make characters on video games all the time, but imagine you are a living, breathing character. Obviously, barring some sort of deformity or some sort of mental, mental, you know, I guess mental. Um, I don't want to say the R word, but mental R word, right? you can build yourself to the kind of guy that you want to be right whether that's money physical strength the way you look physically right being good with women practicing how to be good with, with women right getting a better style these are things that you can build up no one is stopping you right you just have to put in that work and that's why i honestly love listening to, to tate because he's a man that has worked on himself he has gotten to the point in his life where he's like this is i am basically what everybody aspires to be you know barring what you think of his ideologies at the end of the day he is that kind of guy that every guy wants to aspire to he's tall he's handsome he has a lot of money lives life on his term deals with beautiful women you know like it's that's why i listen to it right and we as men can learn something from this. We suffer from modern society and all of its problems suffers from the fact that we are plagued by monumental cowardice amongst the male population. All men are cowards. They're cowards. It's, it's, it's literally mind blowing to me. The level of cowardice we're forced to endure. Everyone's a pussy. Everybody. Why? Because it's been, they've been deliberately designed to be pussies. The femme centric systems has deliberately installed frames in their Wait, mind. Centric. And that's the video, right? And what is he talking about cowardice? Now, cowardice can range from different levels, right? As in, are you afraid to go talk to that girl that you're like, oh man, she might reject me. Oh my goodness, my, my, my fragile male ego is gonna get hurt. That's one level of cowardice. Or are you afraid to ask your boss for a raise? That's another level of cowardice. Are you afraid to start that business? That's another level of cowardice, right? Are you afraid to take on that project? Are you afraid to do things in your life? Are you afraid? Cowardice comes from when you have this fear holding you back from doing what you want to do in your life because you are afraid of the negative connotation or the negative effect it might have on you, right? Oh, it may fail. It may not work out. Guys, trust me, not everything that you are going to try is going to work out. Surprise, right? But here's the thing. You need to go through you need to have that courage to go through the obstacles, to go through the pain, to go through the failures, to go through the no's, to get to the successes, the yeses, you know, to get to that next level in your life. You're going to have to go through some pain. Cowardice is always wanting to stay in your comfort zone. Guys, everything you want in life is going to be outside of your comfort zone. Guys, that is the video for today. If you have not already, guys, go ahead. Hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my you, any of my future videos. Guys, show me that you're not a coward by hitting. <laughs> now I'm joking. Guys, hit this video with a like. It really helps us grow in the algorithm. If you guys have any comments, uh, any comments that you guys have on this video, let me know in the comment sections below. I love interacting with you guys. Uh, with that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.